Hi, everybody. Welcome back. It's Friday, December 29th. It is Capricorn season and it is Fortune Friday. So let's pull some cards. Let's see what this weekend's going to hold for us. A lot of people celebrate the calendar New Year um, as their holiday. I personally do not. I don't think the new year starts in winter, but that's for a different video. But let's see what this weekend's going to hold for us. So the 29th of December to January 1st. Second? We'll do the second, just to be safe. Let's see what we need to watch out for. Let's see what we need to know. Let's see what we need to pay attention to, okay? The collective. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Zatawa and the King of Cups. Okay, all right. One or two more. Let's see. And the Knight of Swords. People are going to get feisty this weekend. Watch out. Watch out. Terror moment doesn't always mean there's something bad. Can mean a really good aha moment. So there could be some kind of revelation happening, which is kind of nice. Going into the King of Cups with the Knight of Swords, I do feel like there's going to be a little bit of... Uh, squabbling <laughs> going on or somebody's not going to feel as good there could be something that happens that makes people not feel as good there could be uh, some kind of incident within your life maybe you don't get the weekend off maybe your plans change so with the tower there going into the king cups just be open to the fact that not everything is set in stone that we have this opportunity to kind of change our plans um king of cups going into the knight of swords Hold yourself in a higher regard. Try not to get too into the fact that maybe you didn't do exactly what you wanted to this year. Um, you know, if this weekend isn't going the way you wanted it to, it doesn't matter. It's just a weekend. Try to think of it that way would be the best way to go about it. Um, I want to pull two more just as clarifiers because this is a little vague. And I want to just make sure that everybody gets the right advice for the weekend. Okay. That's Ace and the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Ace of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. You know what? It's going to be a crazy weekend. So try not to take it personally. Go with the flow. This New Year's weekend doesn't mean this is the start of a brand new life. This is just a weekend, right? This is a calendar year. This is a a day that is marked on the calendar. It doesn't mean anything. You can start your new year at any time, any day, any place, any month. It doesn't matter. You just have to start it. So with the Ace of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, just open your heart. Be a little kind to yourself. Be a little kind to the people around you. Uh, control your situation. Uh, with the Tower and the Wheel of Fortune, same reading. Just uh, be safe. Be safe. Don't do anything sporadic or erratic. Shall I say not sporadic? Be Go ahead and be sporadic, but don't be erratic about it. Especially with that King of Cups there. Could mean a little bit of... Um, you're making not maybe not the best decisions over the weekend. So that's why the Knight of Cups or the Knight of Swords came in. And then we have the Ace of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. So that's definitely... Hey, let's see what this weekend holds. Hold it, hold it gently. Go about the way, uh, go about your ways. Don't take it personally, it's <laughs> best advice. I'm gonna pull a, I have this gorgeous deck that I picked up a while ago. So let's see if it's got anything to say. A little bit of an Oracle deck. So learning of rights, interesting. So with the learning of the rights, this is definitely like a, you got to play card. You got to take life not so seriously. This is make time for that play time. It doesn't have to be a mass celebration. It doesn't have to be like it used to be. It doesn't have to be your way technically, but finding that time to celebrate, to enjoy your time, to celebrate others, right? Figure out what other people do to enjoy their time or uh, celebrate certain days, right? So not everybody goes out uh, 
and celebrates right at midnight for New Year's weekend, right? There's a lot of different celebrations out there. So figure out somebody else's playtime, figure out somebody else's uh, routine, figure out somebody else's celebration or ritual, whatever you want to call it, and see if that maybe works for you, see if it fits into your schedule. And just maybe um, go and have a good weekend. Enjoy your time. Celebrate. Enjoy the fact that you're alive, you're breathing, and you, you know, you're taken care of. If not by yourself, by somebody else. If not by somebody else, you're taken care of by God. And God works in mysterious ways. Um, don't forget, I still have my <laughs> promotion going on. So all my readings are $20 off. The half an hour, the 45, and the hour. So go check out my booking site. I'll link it in the bio. Or not in the bio. I'll link it in the description. Go check it out. It's almost the end of retrograde. I'm still sick. I love you all. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you next year. <laughs> Okay, bye.